Greetings once again YouTube, back with you doing another unboxing, it's another Geek Fuel. Uh, first let me show you my geeky t-shirt, this was not from a subscription box, we actually this was a 5 Below, right? we got the shirt at 5 Below. Uh, from Poltergeist, it says they're huge, so pretty cool. I uh, wore this shirt because it's, well, it's now November, it's the 4th of November. Uh, I'm thinking this might be a spooky month, spooky Halloween kind of themed box, possibly. Now, I just posted a loot crate the other day uh, that we got at the end of October, and somebody commented, said that that was actually the August crate, so who knows how far behind <laughs> Geek Fuel is in comparison, uh, or uh, I don't know if that person was right or not. Uh, but anyway, so I took a chance wearing kind of a spooky shirt in the thoughts that maybe there'll be some spooky items. So we'll bust it open. My wife has already cut the tape. And we are going to go ahead and pull out the items, see what all is in here, and then we will uh, show you the items with like a flyby. So bear with me one. All right, hold on. All right, I was having some technical difficulties with the box, but we do have it open now. Uh, and it does look like there are some scary things in here. So let me pull out this first item is from, it's a moon, moonoids. I don't know what it is, but it's I don't know cool. what that is. Yeah, that's something that I haven't seen before. But it says it's Green Goblin, so it's a Marvel uh, collect them all vinyl figures. What are these things? You see they've got Thanos and oh. Venom as some possible. So we got Green Goblin. I don't know if that's the one that everybody will get with this particular month or... If, if you get any of them. So that's kind of cool. Maybe we'll bust that open, see it a little more up close. This is the t-shirt. And I almost wore Ghostbusters, but it is a Ghostbusters shirt. So that's pretty cool. I like the coloration on that. I have a couple of Ghostbusters shirts, but you can always Oh, that was, that's like, more. that's pretty neat. Huh? Yeah, go ahead and open that one up. Uh, we've got this Monster Squad sticker decal wall cling sort of a thing and then this is pretty neat this is the pin pals for this month and it is from friday the 13th you've got jason there it's from the nes game the the backing of it looks like an nes cartridge uh and that's what he looked like in the game he had the really kind of blue mask that looks like a scene from the nes game there but the little pin gives it a better look at him and the design of the back of the card that it's on kind of mirrors what the NES cartridge looked like. So lastly, we have just the booklet um, that tells you, you know, what came in there. It's, it is the Goblin's Ghost and Ghoulish Goodies Edition. Uh, so we'll get some close-ups of that. This says what's coming in possibly in the holidays. Uh, Super 7, Masters of the Universe, Gremlins, Disney. So some cool things possibly coming. Let me get this stuff set up a different way and show it to you in more detail. We'll go through uh, more of the pamphlet as well. I'll move to that point. So here is another look at these items. I'm going to have to maybe change the lighting. It's not looking real great here, but uh, I've got them laid out here. Give me one second. All right, so here is the shirt, Ghostbusters. As you can see, pretty cool kind of retro color to it. Uh, there again is the Pin Pals. I really like the old school NES style cartridge that it has as the backing, so that's one that I you know, wouldn't open and do anything else with the pin. Uh, back to the Moondoids, Mondoids actually they're called. Here's Green Goblin. He sits on his little you know, jet thing scooter deal. <laughs> He's pretty cool. I was going to read to you the back here what it says uh, on these it says what are these things uh, they've come from the planet Mondoida to make friends and eat snacks too bad their true form is just too gross to look at that's why they've taken the forms of humankind's favorite pop culture icons they just don't uh, always get it right they're Mondoids so you could have gotten him and it shows they have Venom and Thanos as well which actually would have probably <laughs> either one of those maybe been a choice above uh, Green Goblin for me personally, but that's okay. It's still really cool. Uh, Monster Squad. We'll look back again through uh, the catalog. So yeah, it looks like you could have got... Well, this is one of two, so the only other option would have been Venom. It looked like they would have given you a chance to get Thanos. It says that was a $20 value, 25 on the t-shirt. 
uh, $3 for the sticker and $10 for the pin pals. And that was everything that was in there. Um, but it looked like there was some kind of, yeah, some kind of coupons or something on the back here. Um, it's talking about how you can just go and get some items from them without subscribing. And also a customer appreciation bonus here. Uh, valid on certain products there. So you get some percentage off. For doing that. And it says that the next for the holidays, Disney and Mondo, a $50 value. That's the next one uh, that'll be coming. So. All right, so that was everything that came in that box. Not a ton of different items. Uh, just four really When with the pin, the, the figure, t-shirt, uh, and the sticker. Um, so overall, in terms of, uh, you know, I, I felt like Geek Fuel has done a little bit better job than, than uh, Loot Crate lately. Um, this one, it's cool that it was spooky stuff, like I had kind of thought maybe it would be. Um, not overly impressed, just because, you know, nothing really jumped out at me. It's great. My favorite thing would be the pin, but again, you're not paying $30 for, for that. T-shirts are always cool. Um, I have a few Ghostbusters ones, and again, I, I wouldn't spend more than, you know, probably ten dollars for a t-shirt even if they tell you it's it's more so anyway uh thanks as always for watching please subscribe to the channel let me know if you are doing geek fuel or loot crate or any other subscription box if you're doing unboxings reviews that thing things of that nature i'd be happy to uh, subscribe back to your channel check out your content but uh, other than that really just hope that you have yourself a great day and thanks again